Well, praise Lord. Uh, I had trouble getting my first video, uh, my first, you know, like 30 minute, 28 minute, whatever it was, video, um, set up. I finally got it set today, so I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm supposed to be doing part two of that video, but I'm going to do this one to make sure that it's loading. Things are still loading properly because um, I believe this will be shorter. What I want to do right now for you people that are visiting um, and you subscribers is um, I want to talk about guitar instruction. Now, um, for me personally, books are the best way to learn guitar. I mean, I didn't say piano. I didn't say the trumpet. I didn't say, you know, uh, uh, the, the auto harp or anything like that. I said when it comes to guitars and ukuleles, I think it's, I think books are the best. But there are some good videos out there, and I'm going to start off with just a couple um, that really work. The first one I'm going to mention is this one here. I got to take this one back. It's not mine. I got to take it back. Um, this is called, if you can see it, Guitar DVD Number 1 Basic Beginner Basics and Beyond. And it is by, uh, oh, here it is, by John Sternal. John Sternal. Take a good look. See there? Now, I like this DVD because, <clears throat> excuse me, I like this DVD because um, when you're uh, playing it, he, 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 he does every string individually, just like, you know, the Mel Bay stuff. But then he gets into important chords that everybody needs to learn. Like, uh, you know, your sus chords and your, um, you know, uh, your bass chords. You know, like you'll have something like uh, D with B in the bass or something like that. I forget what they call slash chords or whatever they call them. But you have like you know, D-sharp, slash, and then, you know, something in the bass. He does those kind of chords, um, and not too many people do that. Um, but he does that, and he shows you a lot of um, important chords um, in here. And this is not really exhaustive. It just um, basically um, sticks with the basics, but basics that you're going to use right away. This is a good a good um uh DVD for people that are complete beginners. If you're an intermediate player, you may want to advance beyond this, but if you're a complete beginner, especially if you're new to chords. Good 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 DVD, good DVD, okay? Um then this one I've had for a long time one of the first DVDs that I got that I that that taught me something. Um, this is Keith Wyatt. Now Keith Wyatt is on YouTube. You look him up. Keith Wyatt is on YouTube. Look him up. Um, he's got a bunch of stuff. He's a lot older now, but he's he's there and he's still teaching. This is a Fender DVD by Keith Wyatt called "Getting Started on Electric Guitar." And, I mean, he teaches you everything in here from your basic chords to moving up the neck um, to doing stuff like, you know, staccato, um, you know, alternate picking, um, you know, all that fancy stuff that is done on the guitar to make it separate from the acoustic guitar um and from other instruments so um he's he's a good one to check out and he has backing tracks on here he has backing tracks on here so that you can uh um keep up 
with whatever he teaches you, you can go back to the backing tracks and practice with the backing tracks and you can keep on rewinding back and going to the backing tracks. Okay? And he's really good. It's really, he, he it's all, I, I, I can almost say it's kind of thorough the way he teaches you it. You know, he doesn't teach you everything, but he teaches you enough to where if you pay attention to everything and break it down, you'll be playing electric guitar pretty good in no time. Here's another one. This is my teacher. This is my teacher. This is my guitar teacher. Mr. Fred Sokolow. His name is spelled S-O-K-O-L-O-W. He also is on YouTube. He makes a lot of videos on YouTube. Look him up. Um, but I have a lot of his best work. And this one here is Fretboard Roadmaps. And I'm about to show you a whole collection of Fretboard Roadmaps. But Fretboard Roadmaps, what it does is it teaches you stuff that you can use to uh, play the guitar. It teaches you stuff that you can use um, right away. Like it'll teach you an F chord. And it'll tell you how to turn that F chord into a lick. Turn that F chord into a scale. Turn that F chord into uh, a blues turnaround. You know, it'll take a simple chord like that and show you like a dozen different things you can do with it. And it'll show you how to do that all the way up and down the neck. Okay? So, um, this is his DVD. I have the book uh, to it. Like I said, I'm a book man. So, this is proof that books are better because when you go in here, what does he do? Refer you to his book because you can't put as much in a DVD as you do the book. So, there's a lot um, in, a lot more in the book. But, he teaches you how to take uh, simple uh, solos or I should say um, rather simple chords. And simple scale ideas and turn them into bigger ideas um, simultaneously. And how to use that in any style of music that you might play. Um, the roadmaps are like, to me, everybody should know them. It's not just a matter of whether you want to get into Fred Sokolow or not. It's a matter of how serious you are about being a guitar player and really being uh, out there writing your music and um, joining in with other bands, Fred Sokolow, um, his stuff is really, really, to me, it, it's like, it should be the law of beginning to learn the guitar. After you've learned the basics about like how to hold the guitar in your first chords and stuff. This isn't for beginners. He doesn't really do any work for beginners. This is for like intermediate um, uh, people who have learned how to hold the guitar, the basic chords of the guitar, how to tune the guitar, how to pick and all like that. He teaches you how to move around the guitar, how to determine, uh, what is that? Uh, terminologize everything if I'm saying that right how to give everything its proper name what to call it and how to move it all up and down the neck um, and it you don't have to learn like the way he has it set up is you don't have to learn every style of music separately you learn how to get around the guitar up and down the neck learn all the chords and learn all the scales that are important and then you can play whatever you want to play or whatever you hear, you can play. And that's what he teaches you. So I'm, I'm going to give you an idea. I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea right here. Because here's the book. Now this is the Fret, Fretboard Roadmaps book that goes with the DVD. Now let me read to you what he says in the open introduction here. He says, there are movable patterns on the guitar fretboard that help you think like a musician and enable you to play chords, lick scales, and progressions in all keys. The pros are aware of these fretboard roadmaps, even if they do not read music. Whether you play rock, blues, jazz, country, or classical music, these roadmaps are essential guitar knowledge. Okay? So, um, he just goes to show you in the book, um, 
And here's an example of a road map here. Like he'll take the major scale. Here's the major scale, okay? And he'll take the major scale and teach you how to break that major scale into intervals, okay? Um, so that you can play, uh, so that no matter what key you play in, that will uh, cause that note. Like if you're in C or D or E, the third of the scale is the third of the scale, no matter where you're playing at on the neck. Things of that nature, okay? So he has like regular fretboard road maps, which is like the, uh, the, the mother of all the rest of the road maps. And then he breaks it down. Then he breaks it down into, where is it? The other road maps. Here's an example. Here's a jazz road maps. Fred Socolow, jazz. Okay, fretboard road maps. He has one for jazz. Same stuff, but what he does is he adds like jazz culture into it where he puts like chords that are um, geared towards jazz and he shows you how to turn any song into jazz and things of that nature, okay? And then uh, here's the blues uh, road maps. And what he does is he shows you how to relate everything that he's teaching you in the first book to the blues, okay? Um, and as you can see, he has a CD in each of these books, okay? Um, so, I don't think he has a CD in the first uh, Fretboard Roadmaps book, the original Fretboard Roadmaps book, because he has the DVD that goes with it. So, he doesn't have a CD in that one, but he has a CD in all the rest of the books, okay? Fretboard Roadmaps. He also has a DVD, I'm sorry, CD to this one. And this one here is called Complete Rock and Metal Guitar by Fred Socolow. This book is old. I don't think it's out of print, though. I think it's been revised. When I got this book, he had a cassette to go with it. Okay? One thing that I did mention here, and I have a Fretboard Roadmaps rock book. Now, that's metal and rock and pop right there, but I have one for Roadmaps, Fred Socolow, um, that is a uh, rock, rock Roadmaps, Roadmaps, Fretboard Roadmaps for rock. I have that one, too. That's in the closet. Um, and then I also have one more thing by Fred Socolow, and that is... Uh, he has a complete blues book. I mean, it's complete. It is complete. I mean, it's exhaustive. Okay. Um, once you get out of that book, uh, and it's called, uh, I think it's just called Fred Socolo Complete Blues Guitar. I think that's what it's called. I could go look it up. But if you want me to, I'll do another video and I'll present that book with it. It's a silver color book, um, and it's really exhaustive. A lot of pages in it and a lot of techniques that you can use for the blues. But a lot of that, a lot of those same techniques that he's using in that book come right out of these, um, or what created these roadmaps, actually, is what is the same kind of material that created these roadmaps. So, and that's what I like about Fred Socolow before I move on. That's what I love about Fred Socolow. Because all his stuff kind of intertwines with one another. Like, like his blues is his blues, no matter how many different blues books you get from his company. His blues is his blues. His rock is his rock. His country is his country. His jazz is his jazz. It all intertwines. Really, really, really nice. Um, so, as you can see... Fred Socolow is the biggest collection of guitar instruction that I have because that that's my favorite teacher. That's my favorite teacher, okay? And like I said, I believe in books. No matter how good the DVD, CD um, genre gets, I like books. Books 
work best for me, especially if they have a CD to them, especially if they have a CD to go along with them. Now, here's, here's another one that I use. This is uh, All About Guitar, a fun and simple guide to playing the guitar. Um, and uh, this here is by Tom Kolb. And I have some other stuff by Tom Cope too, but I forget what it is. Um, like maybe some chord books or something. But this here is a very, very good book. And it has a CD to it, as you can see. And, um, I mean, it's really exhaustive. Um, it's for beginner to intermediate. And it's very, very, very exhaustive. I mean, it, it teaches you just almost everything. I mean, just about everything you need to learn is in here. It says all about guitar, and it really, really is. And anything that, like, I mean, everything is in here. And anything that Fred Sokolow didn't teach me is in here, okay? It's all in here. It's good. This is a good book, you know. And the reason why I'm doing this, folks, is because there's a lot of books out there that are just, you know, not, you know, they're just a waste of money. But these are books that really, really work. I know because I've done the test on them. I've learned something from them. Um, and one more thing about that book by uh, Tom Cole is that um, um, he has transcriptions in the back, like, you know, like The Thrills Going by B.B. King and um, Wild Thing or um, no, not that. But uh, let me see here. He has transcriptions back here. Oh, smells like a teen spirit. He gives you like a complete uh, breakdown of the song and teaches you how to uh, put that in there piece by piece. Smells like a teen spirit is one of them. Um, Dust in the wind. That's one. That's another one. Um, and he gives you complete detailed transcriptions on how to play them songs after you learn, okay? Um, he just really breaks it down for you. Smoke on the Water. A lot of you know these songs. I don't know them. <laughs> you know, I don't know these songs because I don't really get into secular music. And The Thrill is going by B.B. King. So, and, there, and there's other ones too. Uh, that was just a, a few of them, but... Um, he really is a good, this guy here is a really, really good teacher. Um, I like him. Um, and then, uh, everybody knows Mel Bay, Mel Bay stuff. And one of the first books I had was Mel Bay's Teach Yourself Guitar. And I did volumes one, two, and three. Matter of fact, I have volumes one, two, three around here somewhere in one book. It's falling apart. I didn't play the heck out of it. Um, it's falling apart, but I have it around here somewhere. That's one book that I did not give away. Some of these books that I have, I gave them away because they, I really didn't learn anything out of them. But these books, I've learned something from, so I kept them. Um, you Can Teach Yourself Guitar, Mel Bay Presents. Um, this one here is You Can Teach Yourself Rock Guitar. Now, I started off with You Can Teach Yourself Guitar. There is a You Can Teach Yourself Guitar book, and it's kind of like a lot of blues stuff in there to teach you, but it's a very, very, very good book. This one here is You Can Teach Yourself um, Rock Guitar under the same publishing company, but the, uh, the uh, people, the writers... The teachers are different. There's a different teacher for each book, but they're all of the same class, if you understand what I'm saying. And, I mean, you can get these Mel Bay Presents You Can Teach Yourself Guitar Collection. I got one that goes with this called You Can Teach Yourself Guitar Chords, okay? It's a chord dictionary, and it teaches you how to, um, you know, learn all your chords, an easy way to learn all your chords. But this one here is You Can Teach Yourself Rock Guitar. And there's a whole collection of You Can Teach Yourself, you know, guitar. There's 
You can teach yourself country guitar. You can teach yourself uh, blues guitar. You can teach yourself, you know, just like the Fred Socolow stuff. There's a whole vocabulary, and they all stay almost within the same vocabulary, just like my Fred so Socolow stuff. Um, this is a real good book. The only thing I don't like about this book, and it doesn't come, yes, it does. I lost it. It did come with a CD, I believe. I think it did come with a CD. Don't quote me. I think it did come with a CD. Yeah, it did come with a CD. Or you can order the CD separately, one of the two. It has a CD to it. So, um, I don't know. But the only thing I don't like about this book is like, for example, it'll teach you a blues pattern, okay? And it doesn't tell you, okay, what is that? Is that the minor pentatonic scale? The funky minor pentatonic scale? The major pentatonic scale? Or is that simply the blues scale? He calls it a blues pattern, okay? Instead of telling you exactly what scales you learn, what is the true interval name of that scale. Um, and that's the only thing I don't like about it. But as far as the chords he's teaching you and how to use them, it's a great practice book. It's a book to really, re especially for beginners, um, to get them playing and get them to really jamming. I know what the scales are because I learned that off of Fred Sugalow. So when I hear the scale, I know what it actually is, what the actual interval name is. But he just calls them patterns on here, which is kind of generic. You should actually put the name of the scale there, okay? But anyway, it still is a good book, and I still go back to it from time to time and play a lot of stuff. So, And last but not least is House of Blues. Learn blues guitar. Now, he has, like my man Socolo, these people, and like the Mel Bay Presents, these people here have a whole line of books. They got the books going on. They got the classes going on, depending on what city, state you live in. They got the, you know, music centers, the cafes where you can go and listen to their music, watch all these people that write these books, actually play live, okay? Um, this one here is um, Learn to Play Blues Guitar, and what it does is it takes blues exercises that you need to play the blues, and this is here is level two. I started off with level two. But they have a level one, and they also have a level three and four, I think. And um, they have, you know, you know what it is is just basically uh, exercises to help you play better. Okay? Um, and um, the good thing about this book, too, is that it comes with, I got them both out here, they're in my uh, CD, DVD uh, uh, purse, or whatever you want to call it, but it comes with both a DVD and a CD. It comes with both. See, it's got two pockets here. One's for the DVD, one's for the CD, and one's for the DVD. I have them both. They're in my, um, in my uh, CD case, but... It comes with both a DVD and a CD. How good is that? I mean, that's awesome. And on the DVD, it shows him. And here's a picture of him. Uh, where was that picture at? Okay, here, you know, they got pictures in here of him and all the different things that they do. Matter of fact, here in the beginning, they got a, here's a picture of him, if you can see that. Okay, there's a picture of the dude. He looks gay. Forgive me, Lord. He looks gay. But anyway, and he, he talks like, he, whatever. But anyway, uh, his name is John McCarthy. And I think he does an excellent job. Okay. I think he does an excellent job. Um, 
in teaching. House of Blues, the rock guitar method. House, well, actually, House of Blues, blues guitar method. Here on this page, he's showing you all the other different methods he has. And, um, I mean, he goes through the blues scale and he, I mean, he shows you blues and how to incorporate jazz into the blues. And, um, he shows you how to do rhythm and timing. And, uh, he gets into minor scales, major scales. Um,. He just gets into some very, very nice stuff here. And he shows you stuff like my boy Fred Sokolo. He shows you stuff that you will never, ever forget. Because it really, really, really can be used in whatever you play. So, that's all my books that... I have a lot of books, but... Those are the ones that I recommend if you're trying to learn how to play guitar. You can start off with Fred Socolo if you at least know how to hold the guitar and play your basic chords, you know, because he doesn't teach. He doesn't really teach you first position chords. He goes right into moving those chords up the neck, okay? Um, that's how he starts off. So, um, you know, with the bar chords and all that stuff. So, um, I hope this helps. Um, don't, don't let anybody tell you, oh, it's all about DVDs and CDs and, and, uh, you know, and I've, I've had a couple private teachers and they, they were okay. They taught me maybe a chord, but, but uh, I've learned more off the books, man. The books is what it's about. The books is cause you can, you know what I'm saying? It's like the Bible, man. It's written. It is written. All you got to do is look at it and you know what to terminize, terminologize everything and what to call it and, and, and how one thing corresponds to another. And you can write in there and you can take notes in there and all that kind of stuff. Books are the way to go. Okay. It's, you know, DVDs are good if they go along with the books are good. To go along with the books, but books, I think, are the best teacher. And you can take your time and just learn one thing at a time and go back. Flip the pages and go back. And even, like I said, mark notes in there if you need to. Um, that's just my opinion, but if you have any questions... Uh, feel free to ask me and I'll do a video on them when I find out uh, the resources. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know if I've helped you at all. God bless you.